Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I'm back on my Shadow Priest today. Uh, I figured I'd come back, take a visit. I don't know about any of your servers, but my server is definitely freaking empty. Um, there's not a lot going on. Uh, guilds recruiting, normal blah blah blah, but um, it definitely has taken a little bit of a dive, and it's the calm always before the next expansion but I don't know this one feels kind of a little different to me it just seems uh I don't know I did do the um next step in the event uh went and gave my uh, artifact weapon on my warlock I have to do some of my other tunes but it was kind of depressing going and doing that um I kind of feel that <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It just kind of sucked. Um, all the time that, you know, was spent getting all that AP and all that. And, I don't know. It, it just kind of felt kind of crappy. Um, yeah, you know, just like the garrisons and stuff like this, you know, and warlords and some of the stuff in, in the other expansions. I don't know, th this one just felt kind of cold. It just, I don't know, it didn't feel right. But not much you can do now. The it's Maybe, yeah, it's about a month and a half away. Whatever their uh, event's going to be for when they, um, the opening event for Battle for Azeroth is coming. So, I don't know, this one just kind of feels, I don't know, it just, it has a, kind of a different feel than all the other expansions to me and I've been playing since vanilla and I don't know they're just some of the stuff I've read online it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of excitement um I mean there are people that are excited and there's you know some different stuff coming they've messed with talents and abilities and all that but I don't know I don't know what to make of this expansion I'm hoping that it's gonna live up to its hype but or what perceived type, whatever, however you want to say, but, I don't know, I, um, I don't know, I liked Legions, I thought some of the, the, the altering of how some of the tunes played, like, Hunters, of course, they mess with Rogues a little bit, um, I thought that they, the tuning was kind of weird, how they would change stuff from patch to patch, it seemed like, especially on the Hunter, and I'm a little... I favor hunters a little bit since I do, uh, you know, I, I do raid on a hunter, so I show th them a little bit more, uh, I don't know, it hurts a little bit more when they get, uh, when they get picked on sometimes. So here we are, we're in Warsong, see how this goes, I just wanted to do some PvP today, I'm, uh, kind of slowly leveling these guys. I really haven't done a whole lot with them. I'm going to at least get this guy, my warrior, and my other warlock to 110. Um, one warlock is going to be specifically Affliction. My main one's going to be specifically uh, Destro. Um, I know that I, there have been some changes. I'm not going to really change how all that, how I, uh, what I'm going to be specking towards. So, Come on. There we go. And I'm definitely going to stay marksman on my one hunter. I have a beastmaster and a marksman hunter. And they specifically do, the, they're specifically for those classes. And I did that. Again, because, well, I wanted to. I wanted to be able to play both cla both specs without having to, um, you know, carry around gear, run back and forth between uh, worrying spec this spec, you know, what to spec into for raids and stuff, so...
Ooh. Enjoy your little, uh, enjoy your little ride. Let me good with English. All right, there we go. So that's, that's it? That's all you're going to bring to the table with me, buddy? I guess that didn't work out quite the way he thought it was going to. Which is unfortunate for him, but ha 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 ha. Well, that seemed to not work out so well for them. For those of you that are following the World Cup, uh, Mexico was definitely beaten down by Sweden today, but received life because South Korea apparently beat Germany and broke, I believe it was a 64-year run of them making it out of group play. And they're going home. Oh, come on, guy. What be like that? Aw, what is that about? Yep, I'm going to play with the little guy here. And I'm going to melt him. Run. Where you going, buddy? Where you go, buddy? Got you that time, huh? Oh, damn.
Well, that didn't probably go the way it was supposed to, or did it? No, it definitely didn't. But I did go 3-0, and and poop on the damage. But that's the way life goes. Alright, let's get back into some PvP. We'll go get this herb very quickly. So the next video I'm going to do is going to be definitely on my Warrior and my other Warlock, my Affliction Lock. Um, just to kind of mix it up. Um, I may do stuff on my mains uh, sometime soon before the ex uh, before Battle for Azeroth. I don't really know. Um, I'm just kind of out banging around here. Uh, I was taking this a little seriously in the beginning. Now it's just kind of a... Don't really feel like doing anything on my mains. Just kind of de depressed that the... Artifact power is going away. Like I said, it just this expansion, the end of this expansion just kind of feels different. I don't know exactly what their storyline is going to entail, like wh what direction they're going in. And I'm not saying the game should end, but they have already said that <clears throat> there's no definitive way to really end it because both sides will be upset and they don't want to alienate fans and cause that kind of friction and heat. But at the same time, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. So, personally, I would hope that the Horde would win. But, uh, they've definitely, they've made statements in the past that they didn't want to do anything like that, so. It's going to be interesting to see what direction they take it and how far they can actually go with it and all that business, so. I mean, there is a month I could definitely get these three guys up to uh, one, 110 if I really wanted to. And even my Paladin that I barely ever play, he's just my Inscriptionist. I could get him up and because uh, he's still 101, but I made him a twink, if you can really twink at 101. But, uh, yeah, <coughs> I had used him for farming. You know, there were a couple of videos done, and I had actually had the idea on my own. I just wasn't sure of a few particular things, but um, I used them to farm for herbs in, uh, God, I can't even think of the name right now, the uh, Dark Heart Thicket. Um, you could get in there in about six to ten minutes, get in, get out, and you could walk out with about a stack, stack and a half of herbs, and it was actually pretty, it was pretty profitable for quite some time. Um, and then flying kind of came along, and I just jumped on my druid and went and did that. Okay, go away. Not sure how many people are really excited for uh, Fallout 76, but I've definitely gotten my collector's edition. I'll at least be one of the geeks uh, running around with a goofy little helmet on. Uh, 
Not really sure what direction that game's going to go. They're being kind of secretive about stuff, and people are making daily videos about this, that, and the other thing, the PvP and all of that, and I'm just kind of reserving my judgment really until um, beta comes out. I mean, I understand people wanting to speculate, but speculation really isn't going to serve any sort of a purpose because you only know what they want you to know, and what they want you to know is very little. So... With interviews that are going on, every single word that, you know, Pete Hines and some of the other guys are saying is being dissected, and it, that's a great story and all, but I'm kind of reserving uh, judgment for beta. Now, I will say, if the game is coming out on November 14th, okay, cool story, what the hell are they waiting for? Uh, I understand they have to get the servers up and all of this business, but I don't know if I would have exactly gone ahead and announced some sort of beta without it being up, if that makes sense. I mean, okay, this was done at the beginning of June, so July, August, September, October, November, five months. I would think that they would be wanting this out there. I mean, unless they're going to try to do a quick beta and they really have the game pretty much done the way that they want it and we're just going to be testing things but i don't know it would seem like the chance for feedback there really isn't that great of a chance i mean i understand how programming works that there's you know a bunch of people on the dev team uh you know doing this and that and all of that it just seems though that they would want a little bit more time and time doesn't seem to be, be the thing that they really are going to have with this so-called beta so we'll see how that winds up turning out and uh i've already gotten my beta key so i'm just waiting to see what's going to happen with that and what the general reaction of the game is going to be i think it's going to be a good game i think it's also kind of a test game if that makes sense i mean fallout 5 you know everybody's waiting for a fallout 5 okay cool i think they're kind of doing a little test here uh, to see how this online thing works. I mean, why would they go through that whole uh, lawsuit thing that they went through wi and, and not uh, not give at least online a whirl? So, like I said, I think everybody should just be a little bit more patient, give it some time, see what happens, and if it sucks, it sucks. I'm not saying I'm not defending a shitty product, but at the same time, I'm also not going to say, well, it's just going to be shit because, you know, blah. I would prefer to wait and see what's going to happen. Like, I don't know. I'm just really excited for it, and I, I really want it to succeed. I want it to be a ge good game. I don't want it to be like some of these other titles that have, that have come out from a lot of these companies, uh, EA, and have it turn into a giant shit show. Now, I know that they said that they weren't that there weren't going to be such a thing as as loot crates in the traditional sense that you're getting something random. I get that, I hear you, I understand, but I'm hoping it stays that way. I just don't want to I don't want it to be, you know, sucktastic out of the gate. I hope that they they actually do something with it. It is a bigger map there's a lot of stuff going on on that map so i hope that they really do come through and give us what the, at least something what they're promising Oh, that's right, I was supposed to be doing this. Here I am, just chopping them up like wood. And those bodies are gone. Shit on a stick. Oh well. What are you? Oh, you're a yak.
Well, we're getting a little low, but... Alright, let's get those brains out of there. Go ahead and get in here. Oh, silver shard mines. Oh, goody. Get that closed up like a so. my actual level again. I always forget Let's go. Go, go, go. Burr. Really? You, you thought... Here, have some of that. You have a great day. Where you going, buddy? Don't go running away now. Why do you always got to run out of range, guy? Got her. All that matters. Got her. I guess she's not a Pope Trump fan. That's unfortunate, huh? Didn't think I had that plan ready, huh? That's it. Just keep following me, stupid. I 
I mean, it's not my first rodeo. I mean, if you're going to chase me like a window licker. Where's my friend? Oh, I was going to res him, too. Excuse me. I got to go. Alright, let's get a little bit of rot going on. Oh, they are mad at me. Excuse me. Oh. Yep, time to go. Whoop. Oh, good. This is really going to piss him off. Where you go, buddy? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I just want to get a little love dot on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at me. Guy. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Uh-oh. She's mad. She is so mad. She's mad.
Come on, guy. Oh, they leave the priest in charge of the card. Shocking. Come on. <laughs> oh, they gotta get that one. Unless this guy's gonna have enough power behind it. Definitely not the one. Alright, so we need to get this guy probably. Yeah, that guy's got a long ride. But I'm not going to stick around for that business. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Alright, we'll throw it. But I'm going to guarantee they left, everybody left, including me, left that other cart. <laughs> See if we made it. it looks like he's going to make it. Wow, it's going to come down to this cart. Nope. I would just camp this cart and say screw it. And poop to that. Alright. Very good. Alright. So I'm going to call this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you see something you like, please like and subscribe. Send me a message. Tell me I'm good. Tell me I'm bad. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me whatever you'd like. Um, I am playing uh, Fade to Silence, I, and that's actually turning out to be a really good game. It wasn't on the Steam sale that just uh, started, that, well, not just started, but is still going on. i um, kind of unfortunately sad about that, but nonetheless, it is a good game. If you're looking for a good game to play, that is definitely the one you should get. Um, I am also playing Conan Exiles. Uh, decided to get into that because of the Steam sale. Um, that's actually I'm playing single player, but that's actually turning out to be a pretty good game. Um, and I'm playing some other stuff, still playing Warhammer, Vermintide, stuff like this. So um, please check back, check out my other videos, and I will see you guys again later.